Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk. So today I'm going to be talking about a couple of French individuals, actually, uh, in case the name of the, subti the subtitle of the episode doesn't give that away. But before I do start, I do want to point out that at the end of this episode, I do have an announcement to make, one that is official that I only really need to reconfirm with my... Love, Pink Fox, Amber, my manager, however you want to refer to her, big part of this channel, and I do want to organize it in a way where the idea that I have running through my head for this comes into perfect fruition in a way that makes a lot of sense. But I will get to that at the end of this video. For right now, let's go ahead and start this episode of History Talk. Auguste and Louise Lumiere two very important individuals of our modern society history. Originally, manufacturers of photography turned to individuals who founded cinematography. Not just photography. Yeah, that's right. These, For those who don't know, these two are the names of the individuals who founded filmography at first, when it first started. Now many people know of the films that started everything. You can either think books or even some movies for this kind of detail. In fact, I'm sure at a point the History Channel even discussed this. I don't remember if this is a... don't quote me on this because I'm not directly positive about it. However, for all I know, could be the case. Either way around, the Lumiere brothers. We'll refer to them as that because it's a lot more easy than trying to go about, you know, the full names. Auguste and Louis. I might, or Louis. Honestly, I think it's Louis. L-O-U-I-S. So yeah, most likely Louis. Anyway, the Lumiere brothers brought the very first film to ever exist. The film itself, it's actually a French film, but at the same time not really, it was called Arrival of a Train at La Chouetta. I think that's how you say that. C-I-O-T-A-T. -I, I looked it up and I've already forgotten. <laughs> Chouetta. Because it's in France. So, regardless, that was the name of the film which was shot in 1895 and released to the public January of the next year. Now many people know the first, a lot of people know of the first hand reaction that happened, which was everybody got scared out of their dang minds. But it was a silent, short film of literally what the title said, a train arriving at a station in a coastal town in France. That's really it. So, a lot of people already know the answer to this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Why is this such a big deal? I mean, I know, as I said, a lot of people already know this. This might be a no-brainer to many. But we probably wouldn't be where we are now as far as like entertainment goes, as far as filmography goes at least, if it wasn't for these two individuals. Also, phone went off, shut up, I will answer that later. Ever since this, filmography has become a very big deal. But past that one film, what happened? What happened to the Lumiere brothers? Did they just fade? Did they keep going? Well, this one not as many people know about, which surprises me, yet not. I had to actually create some notes to keep my mind on this kind of stuff. They had a list about of about mm, 10 films, all of them very short, all of them very simple. 
they were all just kind of smaller events and clips. Kind of the things you would see like on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, places like that. Very, very, very short and straight to the point just to give an idea of, hey, this is what's going on right now kind of thing. And for the time, you could find that very intriguing. This idea, yes, hit the U.S. very quickly, but it all had to start from somewhere. And what I find interesting about this is it feels like when it comes to entertainment in general, the French always have seemed to have some of the best ideas. Now this is my opinion personally, so don't take it in any kind of way if you disagree. Aside from what I'm talking about in this video, um, the Lumiere Brothers, well, here's another prime example of what I mean by that. How about theater? Sure, it started, I believe that actually started in Italy, not France, but some of the best, in my opinion, plays were created in France. A good example of this would be Phantom of the Opera or Les Miserables. Those are two of some of my favorite plays in existence. Really well written, sure, depressing to a degree, but still very well done. But back to what I was talking about before. What happened? Sure, these individuals made 10 films, but that just, nowadays you would feel like that wouldn't take very long. Put it in perspective this way. It took them a year to create that one film and to keep the same quality and the same kind of audiences coming back in this kind of sense, they had to keep up the same quality. When you think of it that way, it would make sense why they, in their time span, were only able to do about 10 of them before we reached the early color years, I guess you could say. At which points, this is where things really started to spread out, so I'm not going to get too much into detail about that one. Now... Why do I feel like this impacts me? Every single time I talk about a history icon, I've always been able to come up with a way where this kind of thing interests me, or how it impacts me. To be honest, if it wasn't for film, well, would I even be doing what I'm doing now, for one? Probably, but it definitely wouldn't be on camera. I wouldn't be able to show my own personal emotion on that, and voice is not that, vocal emotion is not that hard to fake when all you can, when all you got is you, you hearing that and that's it. But visual shares a lot more of what's going on up here. That will lead to a different topic. So how directly would this impact me? What about this specific event, though, impacted me? Sure, yeah, fine, we all have entertainment, but that's very vague, and that's probably what a lot of people would say. That's probably a very cliche answer for anybody who already knows about this. So me specifically alone, how does this impact me? The creative mindset goes a long way. For these individuals to go, to take a leap of faith, it takes a lot of bravery, in a sense, and a lot of courage. The same kind of courage that I originally found after finding about this, is I found this in many, many, many other creators on this platform. Many creators here start from the ground up. They built with what they got and they build their way up 
and I look up to every single one of those. And of course, when it comes to film, the very first ones to ever do this would be the Lumiere brothers, in a manner of speaking. Now maybe they didn't have to gather up so much courage because they were already into the topic of photography on its own, and that had been around at least for quite some time before this. Regardless, the fact that they took that leap of faith, they built themselves from the ground up when it came to that particular topic, says a lot. Says an absurd amount. But in a very, very positive way. In a manner of speaking, this is kind of why I look up to the Lumiere brothers. Because, like a lot of us creators on here today, they build from the ground up. I mean, even that has been discussed separately before, but it is the case. And even though those films, like the one that I gave an example of, the very their very first uh, train pulling into the station, that one I'm not going to say the location name again because I absolutely can. I'm not going to try arrival of a train at the station. That particular short film. left a domino effect that probably honestly makes them smile, look down at us and just smile at where all that entertain that idea of type of entertainment has taken them has taken the world in general it's honestly kind of interesting to see how much it's even progressed past that they probably saw the when 3D movies started being a thing, they saw that and pfft, did, probably didn't even know what to say. Granted, they're passed away. They were probably passed away by then anyway, but even so, when you think about it, who knows? They probably were giddy with joy looking down from wherever they are now. But you never know. It's a very interesting thing to think about in my mind. One way or the other, what is your guys' opinion on the matter? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but with that, with this episode wrapping up, let's go ahead and quickly talk about um, the little announcement I have before signing out for this video. I have pretty much officially decided to start doing podcasts as of the beginning of 2022. The exact date is not quite known yet, but I figured this announcement would be detrimental. Each podcast is going to have a very specific assigned topic where I will try to be joined by Pink Fox if she's willing. If not, it'll at least be me talking out my rear end about the said topics listed each time. Will that mean these kind of videos are going to stop? Absolutely not. I'm always going to consistently do these. Because these kind of, the what I'm talking about is only going to exist on at least one day per month, if not week. I could try to do it once a week. It'll be the same day every week, but it'll be hard to consistently keep up with. But that's also another reason why I rely on Amber. She helps me manage this channel very well. Um, I've asked for plenty of advice from her before, and she's always helped me balance everything out, so I can't really... For me to not rely on her on something like this would be ridiculous. But one way or the other, definitely look forward to a group of 
live stream podcasting starting um, in January 2022. That being said, I am going to head off. Uh, got a little bit of work to do as far as like the later video goes and the content from yesterday when I started showcasing this little baby and the video I did, I recorded prior to that, which was ironic because it's the second one that got uploaded yesterday. I still have yet to work on those and finish those up as well. So I'm going to head off. As far as icons from the past go, you got anybody in mind or any groups in mind that you'd like me to talk about? Let me know in the comments below if you do. If you have anything that you'd like to add to the things that were said in this video, uh, go ahead and put that down there as well. If you liked what I had to say, though, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't say it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel, because, well, like I said, if you don't see a History Talk video, you'll definitely find some kind of live video every day. So definitely look forward to checking that out if you do like that kind of stuff. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. As I said, got a lot of work to do. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.